Good day everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Henry and I'll be your tour guide on our Lumion series, so sit back and enjoy. Okay, before we move on, I would like you to do us a favor by hitting the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content like this and also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release a new video. Once you have done that, thank you very much, we really appreciate. So we are going to move on. Okay, in our last video, I will just recap a bit. We talked about composition in the render. Composition is basically the environmental content surrounding a 3D view. Okay, but in today's video, we are going to talk about the settings to apply to a render to actually give a good quality in Lumion. We are going to go to the photos and we are going to go to the shots. Okay, so we have the shot now, we want to render it. I could easily click on this render tab now and just get a quick rendering. Let's just say desktop and let's just save it as one and just render it this shouldn't take up to a minute okay so we've just rendered it so we're just going to open and see what we have and we're going to open the file and open file location and just open it up okay as you can see this is what we have uh, for a newbie i would say this is decent but we can do much more than this so we'll just be watching and we'll see what we're going to do okay so this is our first sample image without any setting just take note we are going to compare it with our image after we apply the render settings okay in the render settings you go to this series of tabs you see this photo you see the photo menu the custom styles the fx okay i'm just going to be going through what all these tabs are there. so in this um, photo tab you have the option to copy settings you can edit you can copy setting to other views and you can also save the settings you have this in this custom style if you click it you see a series of tabs these tabs are actually preset group of settings set by lumion for easy renders you see realistic interior dawn daytime night overcast color sketch and watercolor okay so we're just going to go get back okay so we're going to see this add fx this effect is where if you are rendering like your own custom settings you can just click on it and select from this whole series of settings to apply to the project i'm going to be going through the ones i actually prefer and the ones i'll recommend for a starter that wants to just get a realistic daytime view or rather let me call it um, daylight view okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to custom and go to add realistic okay that's it and done realistic is actually okay but we want to go further than that so we're going to be going through the settings i recommend so just take note of the settings as you follow the video so we're going to click on fx tab we're just going to first start from sun under sun we don't i don't think we need the sun effect we don't need the god rays we don't need the volumetric sunlight and the sun study we'll move on we're going to go to weather uh i won't touch on um, precipitation for this weather but in case if you want to add rain can use this presentation i'm going to go to sky okay so we're going to be talking about real skies real skies is like a settings that allows you to choose between some series of hdri images so we're just going to select one and see already from this realistic group of settings we already have a, an already set real sky so we're just going to change it uh preferably i usually love using money under morning i'll select this second morning and adjust the position of the sun that is in this heading bar you can just increase it and change the angle so preferably in editing the position of the sun i edit it in a way that it's not too overcast on the building at the same time a bit of sunlight is hitting the building so i usually like my sun position at about 30 degrees to the building that is about this position okay let's just hit it this way and i used to increase the brightness to 1.1 1.1 and maybe i'll flip the sky to just have some more clouds okay we're going to go back and we're going to go to add another setting we're going to go to objects uh, under this object we'll go to atom colors and we're going to increase the saturation to about 1.4 then we're going to go to camera we're going to go to exposure and we're going to increase the exposure to about 0.6 just for it to be bright we're going to go to lens flare and we're going to increase the lens flare uh we'll increase the depth amount reduce the isolate brightness increase the ghosting a bit okay and we're going to go to the artistic one this artistic is a is an important part of the setting we're going to go to color coloration 
As you can see in the pre um, preset realistic group of settings, our temperature is quite high, but I want a cool render. So I'm just going to reduce it to this position, reduce the tint a bit so it won't be kind of purplish and leave the brightness, the other stuffs are okay. And we're going to go to FX again. We're going to go to sharpen. And we're going to increase the sharpen. We're going to stop around the T of the intensity. Yeah, I think that place is quite good. We're now going to go to artistic too. And we're going to go to bloom. Okay, under bloom, we're going to reduce it to about the O, between the O and U of the amount. I'm just telling you this uh, using the names on the bar to just give you an easy way to time the exact point that I recommend. So I'm going to go to the bleach. Under the bleach, I'm going to reduce this one to about the O. Okay. So I'm going to add another effect. We're going to go to the next tab that is advanced. Under the advanced, we're going to look at the shadow. Under the shadow effect, we, as you can see, we have normal soft shadows on, fine detail shadows on, which is good. We're going to increase this interior slash exterior a bit. We're going to go to FX again. We're going to go to reflection. Okay. Under reflection, we're going to increase this reflection to high because a good um, 3 dv is always reflective uh, we are now going to edit these planes of reflection by clicking this pen icon okay we're going to just click on this i don't know if you saw what i did but i just clicked on this plus icon just to pick some reflective planes to make those planes in particular more reflective so we're just going to pick some of our prominent uh, cutting walls we're also going to pick some windows going to pick some glazing, some windows at the front of the building. We're going to pick some railings. We're going to pick some glazing. Okay, my system is lagging a bit, so please don't mind that. We'll get a better one soon. Just managing this one for now. Okay. That's it and done. We'll just click on the view for it to align properly again. We're also going to go back to the FX again to add another setting. We're going to go to this hyperlight. Under this hyperlight, we're going to click on this edit preview turn on. Then we're going to increase the hyperlight to about 30, 30 something percent. Then we're going to increase the skylight. We're going to increase the skylight brightness to about 1.2. The saturation 1.2 increase the these two click on these two turn on switch on to just increase the realistic increase the render quality to high okay if your system is not quite powerful don't click on that high if not to lag it i'm also going to go back to the camera to increase the exposure a bit because i feel the view is still a bit dark due to the position of the sun okay that said and done then we're going to click render we're going to render it and change it to number two along close to the first view we rendered okay and our view has rendered uh, completely okay so we're just going to compare the two perspectives that we rendered before okay okay as you can see this is the first one we rendered without any setting and this is the second one we rendered with setting as you can see the difference is as clear as day in the terms of the quality so you can just see the difference so that is the amount of change a good setting can make okay thanks for watching if you love the content please hit the like button also subscribe to our channel for more content like this hit the notification bell to get notified when we release a new video so have a nice day and stay safe